In this tutorial, we'll go over the best ways to search for content in the Google Chrome browser. Let's say your students are assigned a project on the California Gold Rush and will be searching the internet for content. Going to Google's main search page and typing in California Gold Rush will produce over 2 million hits. The most visited sites appear first in the list, but just because a site is popular doesn't mean that it's reputable or has accurate information. We'll explore reputable sites a bit further on in this video. Near the top of the page, Google displays a list of frequently asked questions on the topic, such as, what was California like during the gold rush? Clicking on a question displays the most popular answer, and the source of this answer is cited here, in this case, Wikipedia. You can also click this link for a new search on this specific aspect of the topic. Over here on the right side, Google displays a few selected images and you can click any of these to see the particular image open in a Google Images search. Sources for images are listed here. Below the images is a short description of the topic, again with its source. When presented with an overwhelming number of websites to choose from, it's important to be able to recognize which sites can be relied on for accurate information and which sites should be avoided. Wikipedia links can almost always be found near the top of any search result list. And while the information here is well organized and professional looking, Wikipedia is also an open resource. This means that anyone can add any information they like and accuracy can't be guaranteed. So Wikipedia should be avoided for class assignments and projects. As another example, a popular search result for this topic comes from legendsofamerica.com. While the information here may be impeccable, there's no indication of what individual or organization owns this site. There are ads and commercial links, so this is another site that should be avoided for academic purposes. An example of a site you can use without worry is history.com, the official website of the History Channel. Another from this list is Britannica.com or PBS.org. But while these sites are reputable, they still might not be ideal if you're looking for solid research. Students in younger grades may have trouble with the sophisticated sites we've seen so far. So you could add for kids to the search term. But these results need to be culled for accuracy as well, such as this result from Ducksters.com. The content here may be wonderful, but no recognizable organization appears to be connected to this site, and the overall look appears not to have been done by a professional web designer. A great way to filter out unreliable sources is to search using Google Scholar, whose URL is scholar.google.com. All the content you'll find linked here is from reviewed and curated articles and books. If I search in Scholar for California Gold Rush, I still get a huge number of results. But each link is to a book or article listed by title and author with a brief overview you can click a star icon to add a source to your library. Clicking the quote icon shows a variety of standard formats you can use for citing the work. You can also link to articles related to this one. To see the sources you've saved to your library, click My Library at the top right. Google also enables you to create your own search engine, which will only search specific sites that you approve. This is especially useful for younger students who might not recognize unreliable sources of information. To set up a custom search engine, go to cse.google.com and click this button. Enter the first site you want to include, such as history.com. Continuing adding sites as needed, such as scholar.google.com, nationalgeographic.com, or the Smithsonian site, si.edu. Assign your search engine a name and click Create. You can always modify this custom search engine by clicking Control Panel. If you're adding your search engine link to a website, such as a class assignment page, you can click Get Code, which displays the HTML code you can embed on your page or click Public URL to open your engine in a new tab. This is the URL you would give to your students. When students use your custom search engine, 
All of the results come from only those sources you are allowing. This can save students an enormous amount of time filtering through an overwhelming amount of content.